What's up everyone? It's Hey John and today the topic will be Terra Luna 2.0. I will be discussing and giving you all of my rationale as to why Terra Luna 2.0 will be a success, why it will go to the moon. And you may or may not agree with it, but let me preface this by providing you some data points and some information and maybe just maybe your mind may get altered. So keep an open mind. And I do understand that many folks have been burned by this and this is not an excuse for it, but I want to give you the viewpoint from new investors and going forward. If you go to Do Kwan's Twitter page, you're gonna see lots of support. Terra 2.0 on Fertile Soil, L Bank is in, Bitfinex is in, Bybit is in, KuCoin is in, Gate.io is in. The reason why this is important is because if the CEX, the central exchanges are still thinking about, hmm, should I keep Luna going? Hmm, is it beneficial? Hmm, well, ask yourself one thing and one thing only. How do the majority of these exchanges make their money? Well, they do it by doing one thing and one thing only trading transaction fees please remember folks these companies these exchanges whatever you want to call them they're here to do one thing and one thing only that is to make that cheddar and if there is cheddar to be made you better believe they will list your token coin whatever it may be even if they don't believe in it even if they're against it personally speaking because at the end of the day they are a business and they are here to do one thing and one thing only create and generate revenue now ask yourself this question here why would these exchanges continue to list terra luna 2.0 despite all of the negative controversy and all that kind of jazz well i'll tell you why folks because that jazz and that controversy has created an enormous amount of volume. And volume is what generates lots of money for these guys. These guys are raking in millions of dollars per day. And you better believe they want to continue just raking it in, even if it's at the cost of you guys. Because at the end of the day, I know I said it twice already, they're here to do one thing and one thing only, make money. So my point here is that folks, you need to get in a mindset of, okay, if you got burned, I understand you. it sucks, you're upset, but it's time to move on, dust yourself off, and make your money back. We are now looking at the token distribution here. You can see pre-attack lunars, 35%, wallets, cliffhangers, vesting. The reason why I want to cover that is because this will give you a better idea of who will hodl and who will sell. Simply put, the Terra Luna holders Pulse attack, these are the ones that will be trading Terra Luna. These will be the ones looking to fight for the position of the last minted block. So what these guys are gonna do is get into Luna Classic at the cheap price, huddle it. Once Luna 2.0 issues out the airdrops, while well, these will be the first to sell. The next one to sell will be the developers because they need fiat cash to pay their employees and they need fiat cash to maintain operations. So these are the two positions that will sell, in my opinion, including the Anchor UST holders, because these are the ones who never invested into Luna. They were just here for the Anchor APY of 20%, and they thought they would make fat stacks doing jack. And now they got jacked. It's unfortunate, but the risks were there, and they put it in there, and it be what it be. When I say this, it isn't meant to be unempathetic, but if you read through the terms and conditions, even on BlockFi, they have similar types of deal. We can lose it all, but you can also gain some at the same time. And the thing here is that most people, including myself, I'm also guilty of it. I don't always read all the terms and conditions because it's just so dang long. With that being said, you're seeing long vesting periods and long cliffhangers. And this is great because it'll promote folks to be forced to huddle their tokens and it will be distributed to them over time and many years. So this will give Terra Luna time to continue the growth and to continue the building and development of the infrastructure adapts in a DeFi in a Web3 for Terra Luna. And by the time these vested individuals wanna sell, by then they say, you know what? Hmm, 
maybe I will just huddle because this blockchain is doing pretty darn well. And for the folks who are the pre-Luna attack holders, these are going to be the ones who will continue to hold, in my opinion. There will be some that will sell, but the ones who huddle, they'll be like, well, you know what? I'm already done a lot. Why bother selling? Let's just write it out and see what happens. And I suspect that will be the mindset of the majority of these pre-huddlers. I'm just trying to put myself in the shoes of these people in their positions to understand their mindset. Obviously, this is just me giving you my interpretation of that. And if you think about it for a second, what I'm saying here, it actually makes sense because there's some thought and some logic behind it. But of course, it could be wrong as well. I am giving you my rationales and trying to put myself in the shoes of these huddlers to tell you, hey, they may buy or sell for these reasons. And if you think about it, it actually makes sense. But of course, I could be missing some. And if I am missing some scenarios, leave me a comment down below of what you think. You can see here, folks, the Luna search term is going crazy. It's it spiked up tremendously. And now we're seeing so many folks who are now interested in Terra Luna. Prior to this, it was at a measly 30. And now we're at 100, folks. 100. And of course, it's decreasing over time. But I suspect that it will pick back up once Terra Luna 2.0 is launched. As they say, there is no such thing as bad publicity. Because prior to this, Terra Luna was never on my radar. I always thought, okay, it was a great top 10 token. I never really dug into it too much. But after this big fiasco, I'm just like, holy cow. It's actually a pretty solid protocol. Beyond the fact that it was exploited because of all the numbers being revealed. And then people can sit down and crunch the numbers and then determine how to attack and exploit this vulnerability. With that being said, from my research and my knowledge, Terra Luna has never been hacked. I believe there has been a few attempts, but none of them close to being successful. So as a protocol, this is very powerful. Trending in business and finance, Luna 2.0, 51,000 tweets. Ladies and gentlemen, Luna 2.0 is trending on Google, it's trending on Twitter, it's trending on so many search engines. And there's a reason for this. It's because people are thinking, okay, if I couldn't get in Luna in the beginning, a few years ago when it first came out for cheap, well, this could be my opportunity to get into Luna 2.0 and to ride it up to the moon. The question is, can this happen? Well, I would say it can happen because as a blockchain, they are very solid. And even to this date here, with all this controversy, people still want to throw some money in the fire pit. And this will bode very well for Terra Luna. Look at the Terra Luna volume, 900 million, 550 million, 1.1 trillion, 2 trillion, 541 billion, 1.5 trillion, 3.3 trillion, 4 trillion, 8 trillion, 15 trillion. Ladies and gentlemen, the proof is in the pudding. It's in the volume. The volume is insane. There is so much liquidity here. You can trade in and out very easily because there are tons of traders here. Again, you have to ask yourself, why are there so many traders here if there's nothing here? And why are all of the exchanges on board? Well, the majority. It's because there's tons of volume and there's money to be made. And again, they're here to do one thing and one thing only. Leave me a comment down below of what that is. With all that being said, what I'm saying here is that Terra Luna isn't going anywhere. The blockchain as a whole is creating a new blockchain without UST. The majority of the builders are moving forward and moving into Terra Luna 2.0. They've been offered millions of dollars elsewhere and they said they want to stick around with Terra Luna 2.0. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that tells me everything I need to know. The builders are on board. The validators are on board. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what you need in a successful blockchain. And this isn't me telling you to buy or sell or do anything, but I'm just providing you my perspective of what I think will happen with Terra Luna 2.0 and why I believe that it will moon. Of course, I could be totally wrong. And as you know, the first day when it releases, it will be extremely volatile. That is one thing I can guarantee you. The volatility will be insane. And these trades, whoo, they can make you a lot of money. Tap the like button and smash that subscribe button if you're into that kind of thing. Do it 2022 style. And most importantly, have an awesome day and I will catch you all on the next one. Shh.